Hello and good morning. If I can ask anybody still standing to take a seat, we could be here for about 80 minutes, so you want to be comfortable, I think. Thank you and welcome to the parents. It is very good to see you. Welcome also to the teachers and the students who, of course, had no choice, but it is still very nice to see you. Speech day. What is the point of a speech day? Well, one thing is to reflect on the year, mark achievements, give awards, and bring closure to the year. So let me start by just reflecting on the year. It has been a tough, difficult year. And to finish as strongly as we have is quite frankly amazing. Secondaries, well, they made it back in February for half days on a 7 a.m. start. And then that finished, and then they came back, and the prep school came back later than that. Let me remind you of the challenges of online learning and online teaching. Many students found that online learning did not suit them, it wasn't their style, and it was very difficult for them. Similarly, many teachers found online ter learning, teaching, wasn't their forte. Staff and students, many had a hard time delivering for many months online. And parents, the parents were brought into the front line of teaching their own children. There were many difficulties and problems, some logistical, some otherwise. But we did it because there was no choice. It was the only way. And I would have to say that, as always, it was teamwork between student and staff and parent that led to any kind of success we had. Teamwork brought us through. It saw us through the worst of the pandemic. That and lots of hard work. Personally, I do and did feel lucky, if not privileged, when I spoke in my meetings with other headmasters around the city at international and bilingual schools. The things that those heads said that happened in their schools during and after the online teaching and learning period was nightmare alley stuff. It was frightening. And I was so happy to be in this school and not the schools they were describing. How well I remember waiting till late on Sunday night to find out if we were open or not on Monday morning. And at all times, we had three emails ready to go at the press of a button, depending what we were or were not told. And how amused we were to find out at 6 p.m. that by 9 p.m. we had to give a list of all the students who were going to go and get vaccinated 8 o'clock the next morning. There were many challenges. But then we returned. And the joy for staff and students, and I'm sure parents, when we opened again, even if it was at 7 o'clock in the morning, the pleasure around the school on students' faces, enjoying being back, socializing, and learning and for the teachers to be actually teaching face to face. No matter how tired we were, and we were tired, 
it was a joy to be back. And having been back, how much have we squeezed into the past few weeks? The art exhibition. How did we manage to get so much high quality artwork in such a short space of time? Swimming gala and success in swimming competition with so little training time. Yesterday, two 90 minutes complete concerts. Amazing. If you've not seen both, in today's newsletter, there's a link to our YouTube channel and you can watch them both at your leisure. They do look very, very good. We even got a leaving ceremony for grade 12 and a prom. Again, the prom, the result of teamwork between the PTA, the student council and staff. Field trips happened and of course, the annual three-day camps. I cannot even start to describe the time and effort that went in to putting those three-day camps together. I'm sure from the students' point of view, it was just the camps as always, but behind that, phenomenal amount of running about to make it happen. And in the middle of all this, collaboration with RGS UK. How difficult can it be to change a school name? But we did, and we had the British ambassador and a British MP on campus to prove it. And now we are sharing the DNA with a school 347 years old. I could go on. In fact, I'm speaking again later, so I will. So at this point, I can leave the stage for a moment and I can hand over to Miss Patricia, who has got some words and some awards. Miss Patricia. I feel a long way up here standing on this step. <laughs> Okay, so it's lovely once again to have the opportunity to present the, at the PrEP Academic um, Awards. The Academic Awards in our section of the school are decided on how the students have performed over the school year by the following criteria. First of all, the most growth in either language and mathematics. Second, consistently strong assessment throughout the year or an appreciation, third, or an appreciation of the subject itself being language and mathematics. We wish for all the winners to make their way to the stage once and their names have been called. When all prep winners are on the stage, we shall award their prizes Please wait with your applause until all the recipients have received their awards. So here we go. Language first. Grade two, ready for it? Rizuki, can you please come up to the stage? Grade three, Hyun So, can you please come up to the stage? Grade four, Min Kyu, come and join us. And grade five, Hyun Gu Henry, can you please come and join us? Well done. Just waiting for them all. Henry, where are you? Oh, he's not here today. Come over, come over. Okay, so now for the math. You're gonna have someone with you in a, in a moment, so don't worry. Now for the math awards. Grade two, Ju Wan, come forward. Grade three, Jun Hyuk, please come forward. Grade four is a special case, and I'm hoping that Dad has um, video on here. 
It's um, Eleanor. Um, so Eleanor Sesford, she would be joining us too and we'll receive her prize soon. And grade five, Tan Ann. Please come forward, Tan Ann. Is Tan Ann here? <laughs> Waiting. Okay, so um, Mr. Brian, would you like to hand over the wards? No. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, please give our winners a huge round of applause as they make their way back to their, their seats. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so when, um, besides the awards and before I leave the podium, I thought to reflect with you also on the school year. Mr. Brian has also uh, already done a, a fantastic job, but I just thought to add a few extra words. Um, when I think of the 2021 school year, my thoughts automatically, automatically travel to the strength and the resilience of everyone in our school community. Um, the resilience, the determination, the hard work, the enormous flexibility from the parents, it was immense over the school year. Then after being online for some time and our community successfully and safely returning to school, to our classrooms for the last nine weeks of the school year, that was amazing too. April 2022 saw RGSV flip back to campus Students in full day for those who wish. So we were flipping from one side of online learning to them back on campus. And it was an ama you all did an amazing job. Can you give everyone a clap, please? I'm super proud to be part of a group that navigated the twists and the turns of this year. And I look forward to next year being less twisty less turny and more on campus. Thank you very much. Thank you, Miss Patricia, and congratulations, award winners. And now, if I can hand over to our head of secondary, Mr. Colin, for words and awards. Thank you. Students, teachers, parents, board members, and RGSV community. So, we're here. We have made it to what can only be described as an unforgettable year. 
As people have said, there have been many challenges and opportunities presented to us as we've moved from online teaching via the virtual school back to adapting to a new normal here on campus. The end of school is always a moment for reflection. This year may be more important than others. I hope each of us reflects and celebrates on our successes, even if it's just getting this far. Each one of us should be proud how we have learnt and grown from these experiences that have been presented to us. The 2021-2022 academic year in the secondary school has seen many highlights. As Ms. Patricia said, and I echo, the resilience and commitment from the secondary students and teachers as we've lived through the COVID-19 pandemic. I thank each and every one of you for your support in making the teaching and learning happen. Whilst online, we have managed to carry out a number of events, such as the Festival of Light, MUN, and thanks to the Secondary Student Council, many well-being events too. Since being back on campus, we have been able to also celebrate many events, and that is thanks to our teachers, student council, and house captains. We've seen music and art events, sporting and social events, in-person examinations, and the grade 12 leaving ceremony. All of this highlighted for me with the success of our return to the school camps. The secondary school in 2021 have continued to make their mark. Each and every one of you should be proud. Please give yourself secondary a round of applause. It is with that that I have the honor of announcing the academic awards for excellence in the secondary school for the year 2021-2022. In a second, I will read out the student or students from each grade level. If you can come out to the stage to receive your scroll from Mr. Brian, we will take a picture and do a final round of applause. So, ladies and gentlemen, starting in grade six. So in grade six, we have two students. Ha Hang Do and Ang Ming Le, both from 6B. And continuing in grade seven, we also have two students, An Fung Nguyen and Lam Bao Nguyen, Toto, both from 7A. In grade eight, from 8A, Sadiqa Kapoor. From grade nine, from 9C, Tobias Dickinson. From grade 10, and this student may uh, still be on study leave, we have from 10A, Nguyen Huang Nguyen. And finally, and a very good, this dif difficult decision for Ms. Gitta and I when looking for grade 11 for the diploma program, we have a winner from 11A, Chi Lan Huang Le. the end, Chi.
Another round of applause, please, for the academic winners in the secondary school. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mr. Colin. And again, congratulations, the award winners. And now for the quiet part of the event, I would like to invite Mr. Hayden up to announce the winners of this year's House Cup. Mr. Hayden. Okay. So we're going to get straight to it. In fourth place this year, we had Tiger. In third place this year, we had Dragon. So that means it's either Phoenix or Unicorn. So in first place for this year, we have Phoenix. So if we could have the PYP, or sorry, the prep school house captains from Phoenix and the secondary school house captains from Phoenix come up to get the cup, please. Only one today, okay. Thank you, Mr. Hayden. Congratulations to that house. And now I would like to invite onto the stage um, our founder and chair, Ms. Twee, and Mr. Colin to help with translation. Thank you, Ms. Twee. Kính thưa các vị khách quý, các thầy cô giáo, các bậc phụ huynh, đội ngũ nhân viên nhà trường cùng toàn thể các em học sinh thân mến. Thời gian trôi qua thật là nhanh và một năm học nữa đã kết thúc. Kể từ ngày đầu tiên tôi được vinh dự đứng trên sân khấu này tại bục phát biểu này và đọc bài diễn văn cho lễ khánh thành nhà trường cũng như lễ khai giảng năm học đầu tiên vào năm 2013. Đến hôm nay đã là tròn 9 năm. Năm học 2021-2022 là một năm học vô cùng đặc biệt, một năm học mà các em học sinh không được đến trường do sự ảnh hưởng của dịch bệnh dịch Covid, hơn một nửa thời gian của năm học được diễn ra qua các lớp học trực tuyến với vô vàn khó khăn, đặc biệt ảnh hưởng nhiều nhất đến các môn thể thao, âm nhạc, hội họa, các môn thực hành tại phòng thí nghiệm. Tuy nhiên, vượt lên trên tất cả những khó khăn của việc học tập online, thầy và trò trường Regate Grandma Việt Nam đã cùng nỗ lực, cố gắng và đạt được những thành tích đáng khích lệ trong học tập. Năm học 2021-2022, còn là một năm học lịch sử, một năm học chứng kiến dấu mốc quan trọng của nhà trường. Khi vào tháng 9 năm 2021, chúng ta đã ký kết thỏa thuận hợp tác giáo dục chiến lược với trường Regate Grammar UK, ngôi trường cao cấp độc lập tại Anh với gần 350 năm lịch sử và chính thức đã được đổi tên thành trường Regate Grammar School Việt Nam kể từ tháng 12 năm 2021. Sự kiện lịch sử này mở ra một chương mới cho chặng đường phát triển giáo dục chất lượng ổn định và bền vững của nhà trường, hướng đến mục tiêu trở thành một trong những trường quốc tế hàng đầu ở Việt Nam trong những năm tới. Vừa rồi thì thầy hiệu trưởng, các thầy hiệu trưởng và các thầy cô giáo đã vinh danh tặng quà và danh hiệu cho các em học sinh đạt thành tích xuất sắc. Và bây giờ thay mặt cho Hội đồng Quản trị nhà trường, tôi xin trân trọng vinh danh trao danh hiệu và quà tặng cho các thầy cô và các nhân viên xuất sắc nhất của những năm vừa qua. Tôi xin trân trọng kính mời thầy tổng hiệu trưởng Brian Mantis, thầy là hiệu trưởng sáng lập trường ISV, đã đến làm việc ở trường từ những năm học đầu tiên, 
đồng hành cùng trường trong suốt 9 năm qua, lãnh đạo nhà trường đạt được sự công nhận của Tổ chức Giáo dục Cambridge và IBO để giảng dạy các chương trình quốc tế, cùng rất nhiều những thành tựu đáng kể khác như các kỳ thi học bổng, các kỳ thi tốt nghiệp của học sinh lớp 12 và rất nhiều những thành tựu khác nữa. Tôi xin trân trọng cảm ơn, xin vinh danh và trao tặng thầy danh hiệu nhà lão đánh đạo ưu tú nhất. I would like... Tiếp theo, tôi xin trân trọng kính mời thầy Dano Howitt đầy đã cắn bó với nhà trường từ những năm học đầu tiên, cùng nhà trường vượt qua những giai đoạn khó khăn nhất. Và hơn hết, thầy là người sáng tác bài hát về trường ISV và gần đây là trường AGS Việt Nam, là tổng đạo diễn của rất nhiều chương trình âm nhạc đã thành công tại trường AGS Việt Nam. Tôi xin trân trọng cảm ơn, xin vinh danh và trao tặng thầy danh hiệu nhà giáo ưu tú nhất. Tiếp theo, tôi xin trân trọng kính mời cô giáo Phan Thị Thu Hiền, chủ nhiệm bộ môn tiếng Việt. Cô đã gắn bó với trường từ năm 2016, là người truyền tình yêu tiếng Việt đến các em học sinh Việt Nam, học tập trong một môi trường quốc tế. Tôi xin trân trọng cảm ơn, xin vinh danh và trao tặng cô danh hiệu nhà giáo ưu tú nhất. Và tiếp theo, tôi xin trân trọng kính mời cô Hoàng Thị Thanh Hảo, trợ giảng bộ môn giáo dục thể chất. Cô giáo đã gắn bó với trường từ năm 2014. Người hỗ trợ các thầy cô giáo cũng như truyền cảm hứng cho các em học sinh trong các bộ môn thể thao. Tôi xin trân trọng cảm ơn, xin vinh danh và trao tặng cô danh hiệu nhà giáo ưu tú. Tôi xin trân trọng kính mời Cô Đặng Hồng Điệp là thủ thư người đã gắn bó với trường từ năm 2014, người hỗ trợ các thầy cô giáo cũng như truyền cảm hứng cho các em học sinh trong việc đọc sách. Tôi xin trân trọng cảm ơn, xin vinh danh và trao tặng cô danh hiệu nhân viên ưu tú. I... Tiếp theo, tôi xin trân trọng kính mời bà Nguyễn Quỳnh Thư là giám đốc văn phòng nhà trường, người đã gắn bó với trường từ những năm 2014. Người lãnh đạo xuất sắc nhất của khối văn phòng nhà trường, tôi xin trân trọng cảm ơn và trao tặng bà danh hiệu nhân viên ưu tú. Tôi xin trân trọng kính mời ông Nguyễn Viết Tiến, trưởng phòng IT, người đã gắn bó với trường từ năm 2014, đóng góp công sức to lớn trong việc xây dựng và vận hành hệ thống CNTT của nhà trường. Tôi xin trân trọng cảm ơn và trao tặng ông danh hiệu nhân viên ưu tú. Tiếp theo là một người rất đặc biệt, tôi xin trân trọng kính mời bà Bùi Thùy Linh, là người đã đóng góp rất nhiều à, công sức to lớn trong việc chăm lo đời sống cho nhân viên toàn trường trong suốt đại dịch Covid, đặc biệt là trong việc toàn trường ta đã được tiêm vaccine kịp thời. Tôi xin trân trọng cảm ơn và trao tặng bà danh hiệu nhân viên ưu tú nhất. Tiếp theo sau đây, tôi xin kính mời hai người cũng rất đặc biệt quan trọng là ông Lê Văn Thủy và bà Phạm Thị Kim Oanh, những chiến sĩ thầm lặng, những người không bao giờ xuất hiện trên sân khấu những người gắn bó với trường từ năm học đầu tiên, đứng sau tất cả mọi sự kiện, mọi hoạt động của nhà trường, sắp xếp, tổ chức, đảm bảo cho các hoạt động được diễn ra suôn sẻ và thành công. Tôi xin cảm ơn và trao tặng hai ông bà danh hiệu nhân viên ưu tú, Lê Văn Thủy và Phạm Thị Kim Oanh. Và người cuối cùng đặc biệt quan trọng, tôi xin mời lên sân khấu ngày hôm nay là ông Đoàn Anh Hoàng, Giám đốc tuyển sinh và truyền thông. Đoàn Anh Hoàng là người đã kết nối ISV và Regate Grandma UK có đóng góp công sức rất to lớn trong quá trình ký kết chuyển giao thương hiệu của Regate cho Việt Nam. Tôi xin vinh danh và trao tặng ông danh hiệu nhà quản lý ưu tú. Sau đây tôi xin sẽ trao tặng à, giấy khen của Hội đồng Quản trị và một món quà kỷ niệm nhỏ. Lời cuối cùng tôi xin chúc cho chương trình lễ bế giảng ngày hôm nay thành công tốt đẹp Chúc các thầy cô giáo, các em học sinh sẽ có một kỳ nghỉ hè thật là ý nghĩa bên gia đình. Hẹn gặp lại các thầy cô và các em vào tháng 8. Finally, I would like to wish our speech day a great success and to all the teachers and students have a meaningful summer vacation. See you all in August. Xin trọng cảm ơn. Thank you.
Thank you, Ms. Twee. Appreciated. Normally, at this point, we would bring things to a close, but this is apparently, as they keep telling me, an unprecedented year. So we have got a little bit more to add to the end. Um, it says in the program that final words from the headmaster. Literally so in this case. Firstly, I would like to congratulate all today's awards winners. Well done for winning the award. However, if you didn't get onto the stage and thought you had a reason that you could have been on the stage and you did something that deserved an award, you're probably right, you did. So hold that thought and hold the confidence that goes with it. Have confidence in your own ability and your own worth. Well, one of the few benefits of being a headmaster is that you can stand on the stage and say things. So one thing I'd like to say is that I got my first headship in January 1999, about 24 years ago. Even saying that hurts. Since that time, I've been in five schools in four countries, and my eight years here is the longest I've ever worked in an individual school. I have to say, on a year-on-year -year basis, the time in this school has gone by faster than in any other school. Even allowing for COVID, all the other schools, I had harder times than I had in this school. I will definitely look back with great fondness on my time in the school and in Vietnam. As a head, it's one of the things we do in that we like to impart wisdom and things like that because it's, it's expected. And like any head, I like to borrow quite liberally from other people's expertise and knowledge. And if I can't pass it off as my own, at least I can pass on something which is worthwhile. And I'm quite taken to using Shakespeare and Churchill and Einstein. But today, I'd like to go to one of the greats and read a short passage from Mr. Terry Pratchett. If you don't know Terry Pratchett, he's a novelist. And one of the things which I am very proud of is when I leave, I'll be leaving in the library a stack of Pratchett novels. So quite literally, you can check them out next year. This little bit is from a book, and it's a very short passage where an old wise woman called Miss Tick, who's a witch, because it's Terry Pratchett, is talking to a young nine-year-old girl, who is also a witch, because it's Terry Pratchett. And they've been meeting, and they're just about to leave. So, to read. Miss Tick stood up. Well, I must go. I hope we shall meet again. I will give you some free advice, though. Will it cost me anything? What? I just said it was free, said Miss Tick. Yes but my father said that free advice often turns out to be expensive. Miss Tick sniffed. You could say my advice is priceless. Are you listening? Yes. Good. Now, if you trust in yourself, yes, and believe in your dreams, yes, and follow your star, yes, you will still get beaten by people who spend their time working hard learning things who weren't so lazy. Goodbye. Wise words. If you want it, you've got to work for it. That's life. And to finish with, at least for my part, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who has shown over the past eight years patience with me and understanding and support. It can't have been easy. Moving on. 
As I said, we'd normally finish by now, but we do have three more things to do. Next year, it's our 10th year anniversary. And the communications media team have put together a short video, which we shall now watch. The video will be available on our website. Uh, I do urge you to watch it. Certainly anyone who's been here for any number of years, there's lots and lots of memories to be had. So if I can just ask the technician team to play the video. Thank you. Thank you to the media and communications team for putting that together. As I say, it will be on the RSGV um, YouTube channel. Please take a look. Lots of nice trips down memory lane. And now I would like to invite onto the stage MA and friends to sing a song dedicated to the teachers. MA. Good morning, everyone. Um, I would kindly like to ask uh, the secondary Vietnamese student to sing along with me in the chorus for the song You Know It. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. And now, the final event of the speech day, I'd like to invite our composer and conductor, Mr. Manuel, to lead the musicians in our new school song. Mr. Manuel and musicians, thank you.
Thank you, singers. Thank you, musicians. And thank you, Mr. Manuel. Well, that brings us to the end of speech day, which means it's also the end of the academic year. I would like to thank again all the parents for taking the time to be with us today. And I hope that everybody has a happy summer and safe journeys wherever you may travel to. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>